building large language model applications is becoming easier and easier as new frameworks are appearing every week, it seems. Now we have another framework to build large language model applications, and that is called as Haystack by DeepSet. There are quite a lot of interesting features by Haystack, and in this video, I'll be showing you those features. Plus, I will also show you how to get it installed and working. Haystack is an LLM orchestration framework to build customizable production ready LLM applications. Haystack connects components like models, vector databases, file converter to pipelines or agents that can interact with your whole data. The primary idea behind Haystack is revolved around the pipelines. They niche together all the components of an LLM application and then put it into the pipeline. You run the pipeline and that is what your LLM application is. There are two major components of this Haystack. First is nodes and the other one is pipeline. Haystack offers various nodes, each performing different kind of tasks. These are often powered by the latest LLM and transformer models like GPT, from Cohere, from Anthropic, and so on. Code-wise, they are Python classes with methods you can directly call. Pipelines is what makes Haystack different. Haystack is built on the idea that great systems are more than the sum of their parts. They are holistic. By combining different nodes, you can create powerful and customizable systems. The pipeline is the key to making this modular approach work. When adding nodes to a pipeline, you can define how data flows from one node to the next until the pipeline has reached a final result. On top of simplifying data flow logic, this also allows for complex routing options, such as you do in the decision nodes. And there are a lot of things you can do with this flexible and customizable pipeline. This is the GitHub repo of Haystack where they show you how to install it and a lot of other information about how it works, how the packaging works. And I will drop the link in video description so that you can go through it. I tried to install this Haystack with Cohere because I don't uh, use the GPT systems. Now, the problem with this Cohere one is that I believe they need to update their maybe document package because it doesn't support the latest v3 cohere model let me show you what i did so this is a google collab which i was using so first you need to install all of these packages for transformers and tense one cohere and form haystack this form haystack is a package of this haystack so you need to install it once that's done you need to import this module which you have just installed specify your coheres api i have rotated it so don't worry about copying it and then specify the in memory uh, document store once that's done when i call this function it complains about this model that this model is not a local folder and it is not a model identifier but if you go to hugging face this is the model which is available at the moment and v2 model is not available which is specified in the documentation of this haystack i believe once they update this in their haystack package this should start working and if you look at the code all i'm doing it i am just passing it through the pipeline and from i'm adding the retriever node and prompt node and then i'm asking it a query that what is the capital of australia and then it should return me the result so this is how this pipeline works and there are a lot of other things you can do. You can even fine tune a model with it. And if you go to Haystack website, you can see that there are a lot of tutorials there with all the levels from beginner to intermediate to advanced. For example, this is the intermediate tutorial, step-by-step -step fine tuning a model on your own data. If you click on it, it is going to give you all the steps. This is how you can install it. Then enable your telemetry create your data training data set. They have also given some pointers here. And then you can run this um, reader, uh, initialize reader with a model to fine tune at which model um, they are using this digital bird base model. And then you can uh, proceed with your fine tuning. Shortly, I I'll be creating another video uh, for the fine tuning. So stay tuned. 
So in this video, I just wanted to introduce you to this new Haystack um, NLP framework, which is quite handy, I believe, and still evolving. So as you can see that they still need to crease out a lot of things, but a good and promising one. I hope that you liked it. If you have any questions or thought, please share them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.